Hi, this brief lecture is part of a series of GIS lectures recorded for the Quinney College of Natural Resources at Utah State University. The discussion topics included in this lecture will cover the basic tools used in geoprocessing, the specifics of vector data in ArcGIS, and details about shapefiles, pathways, and ArcMap documents. First, remember that there are two basic data structures used in GIS. Uh, raster data is a continuous surface, a grid or matrix of cells or pixels, while vector data is defined by a set of coordinate pairs. We refer to vector data as discrete because it's defined by specific XY locations. Remember that XY locations define points. Rules connecting points create lines, and if lines start and end at the same place, it defines a polygon. So points, lines, and polygons are examples of vector data. Let's discuss ways we can process or overlay vector data. ArcGIS organizes geoprocessing tools in the analysis toolbox. The list here is only a small set of the most common vector tools that we'll go over in this lecture. One very common tool used is the Erase tool. This is a very simple tool that uses the extent of one data set to erase another data set. There are two features needed for the Erase tool. It's important to know that the Erase tool doesn't change the input data set. It creates a new output data set. I think that's important so that you know you can't really mess things up. The, set, the first input feature in the data is the data set that you want to change or erase. The second input feature is the erase feature that defines the area to be erased. It might help to look at the diagram and the tool help. The input feature is the data set to be changed. The erase feature defines the shape you want to remove from the first input data set. The new output will contain all of the areas outside of the erase feature. The clip tool is another very common geoprocessing tool. It does the exact opposite of an erase. The clip tool has two input data sets, but the new output created only contains the area inside the clip feature whereas the Erase tool gets rid of the features inside. You can see from the diagram in the tool help that it does the opposite of Erase. Clipping preserves the data inside the Clip feature. With both Erase and Clip, only the attributes of the first input data set are preserved. GIS ignores the internal structure and the attributes of both the Clip and the Erase feature. Buffering is another commonly used GIS analysis function. It also creates a new output data set not affecting the original input data. Buffering is used to identify areas that fall within a certain distance of a set of features. Buffers can be created for points, lines, or polygons. For example, it could be used to define a 100-yard drug-free drug zone around a school or map sensitive protected areas within 100 meters of a stream. You can also negatively buffer to determine setback limits from the edge of a piece of property. Dissolve is used to aggregate common features that share an attribute value. It's a way of simplifying a data set. It's important to know that in the buffer tool, you have the option to set the output features to dissolve Sometimes it's useful to merge overlapping buffers into one shape. You do that using the Dissolve Type option in the Buffer tool. You can also run Dissolve as a standalone tool. Another way to overlay vector data is using the Intersect tool. Intersection is like a Boolean AND. It's an exclusive function, meaning that when you combine two data layers using intersect, the output maps the location of overlap between the two data sets. Meaning, when you combine two data layers using intersect,
the output maps the locations of overlap between the two datasets. Notice the internal structure. Unlike a clip, Intersect preserves and maintains the attributes and internal features of both input datasets. Union is the more inclusive overlay. Union is similar to a Boolean OR. You end up with a larger output dataset. Union creates a new output that is made up of the full spatial extent of both input datasets. Notice that attributes and internal structure from both input datasets are preserved in the output. If you had two incomplete stream polygon datasets, and wanted to combine them, you'd use the Merge tool. However, Merge will only combine similar geometries, meaning you can combine polyline with polyline or polygon with polygon, but you cannot combine polyline with polygon datasets. So let's recap. In the top two graphics, attributes are combined. This means intersect and union. Intersect is the exclusive function which returns only the areas of overlap between the two input data sets. Union is an inclusive function producing an output data set covering the full spatial extent of the data that you input. When clipping or erasing, attributes are not combined. Only the attributes of the first input are carried forward to the output. The cookie cutter shape only defines the boundary for clip or erase functions.